Hey guys, Jochen here, welcome to my channel. Just a short video today about a nice feature that came out first with the Fujifilm X-Pro3 but is available in all new Fuji X cameras since then. The setting clarity. But first as always don't forget to hit the subscribe button below that would really help me a lot. And if you really like my content you can buy me a coffee through buymeacoffee.com. The link can be found in the description. As I mentioned the camera clarity feature was first offered in the X-Pro3 and then in the X100B that I own and finally in the latest Fujifilm flagship the X-T4. Perhaps you know a clarity setting from an image processing software such as Capture One or Lightroom. But now we have this option in camera and it is particularly interesting if you only shoot JPEG and don't want to spend too much time editing. So this is my first advice. Keep in mind that the raw files are of course not affected, even if you can use the function if you only record raw. But what is the effect? Let's have a look at the manual of my X100V here. Clarity, increased definition while altering tones and highlights and shadows as little as possible. Choose higher values for increased definition, lower values for a softer effect. So the clarity increases or decreases only the midtone contrast while leaving the highlights and shadows untouched. Here you can see some examples with the extremes of minus 5 and plus 5 clarity next to each other. The contrast to fine lines is added or reduced so that the image looks a little harder, you might say, or softer depending on the value. You may think that this approach seems to be close to the sharpness setting but it's not the same as you can see here in my examples with wet grass. Because with sharpness the amount of contrast between all pixels is enhanced by increasing brightness in light pixels and decreasing darkness in dark ones. Conversely, when I think about softening something in photography, the first thing that comes to my mind is Portraits, of course. In one of my last portrait shoots, I took several photos of my model Olga to test the clarity with that. As always, I used my custom settings based on Acros Plus G for my portraits, and then I changed the clarity with each shot from minus 5 to 0 and then to plus 5. As you can see, the effect is as expected. We see a softened result with the negative values and really strong skin texture with a clarity of plus 5. The positive values could be interesting if you want to emphasize the skin structure of your model. For example, if you take photos of an elderly or weather tanned human. Well, in addition to the effect itself, what's interesting about the clarity setting? You can use it to customize the look of your images since the setting can of course be part of your custom settings. So if you want to add some structure to your JPEG recipes, this may be a good thing for you. But there is also a disadvantage, which for me is a big one. If you choose a value other than zero for the clarity setting, it will take a significantly longer time storing the images on your SD card. So I use it very rarely, but of course it's nice to have it on board. Fujifilm lets us customize the look and feel of our JPEGs a lot. If you like today's topic and want to make me similar videos like this about other settings, for example the color chrome effect or the monochromatic color, let me know about it in the comments. But that's it for today. Have a good time and take care of yourself. Ciao!